right, we're back with another one, man. We got the carnivorous slide. The carnivorous slide. SCP-1562, bruh. People have been telling me get this uh, SCP animated Tales from Now Foundation, like, like catch up, do it, blah, blah. I know they ain't been uploading or whatever. I don't know what's going on, but everybody telling me to get all the old stuff. They don't see my reaction. Can't, can't nobody do it like the OG. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we finally doing this, bro. I need to get my SCP content, bro. My fault. Like I said, I've been. It's been a lot, bro. It's been a lot in, in my personal life. My people, my real day one niggas who be on the streams, they know what what it is. But um, here we go. Um, the Carnivore Slide, bro. We're finally doing it, bro. I'll see y'all in the video. Let's go. I think it's over here, it. man. Come on. There's no way it's as big as you say. Whoa, what are y'all talking about? Keep it down. There's people around. Pause. I think it's... Yeah, sure. That's pretty tall for a slide. Can we go now? So wait. Let me get it right. Hold this on. Was... Nigga, is that lick? What you sipping on? That can't be the Casamigo. You, <laughs> your body not like that. No wonder. Oh, so I'm thinking. I'm like, okay. Why are these niggas, these grown ass, you know what I'm saying, out here on a slide? Why are you trying to go down a slide? What is the? What, but then, but then they sipping on the Casamigo, and they, they, you know what I'm saying. I understand now. The Casamigo gets you sipping any day. It was my childhood, man. I didn't come all this way not to go down it. Okay, you animation. ever go down the slide like this? Had you got a recording, bro. Pull out the phone. That, that's proof of anomalous activity. First, arms at your side. It's like you're flying, man. What? See, look. I hold on. A nigga like me, I'm not thinking he just, like, anything happened. I'm thinking he went to an anime world, so I'm going down the slide, too. So, uh, so uh, you know, I'm a dickhead, too. So, you know. <clears throat> I believe everyone is here. It's about time we got started. For those of you just joining this operation, we'll quickly review the facts. One week ago, Dale... <laughs> you got the Biyaku guy, boy. Your hands off me. Dale Larson was reported missing by longtime friend Henry Birch. He claimed that Dale vanished before his eyes while going down a playground slide. It was only when Officer Kilgore went down the slide face first that the Foundation was alerted. Dr. Derritz and MTF were the first on the scene. Dr. Derritz. Yes, thank you, Dr. Buck. When we first arrived, we immediately investigated every piece of playground this equipment so and found that only the slide held anomalous properties. Now designated SCP-1562, it is a metal playground slide measuring 2.2 meters high and 3.4 meters long. How you, bro, the object's how you, anomalous effects that like my tongue for real. Never mind. only manifest when a person slides down head first on their stomach with their arms tucked. Oh, so I wouldn't have passed because I would have went on my back. Sliding on my stomach kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get that rug burn. Down at their sides. Any other orientation of the body or limbs while sliding results <laughs> in no effect, and only human beings are affected. When a person slides down SCP-1562 in the aforementioned manner, they will disappear instantly and completely at approximately 15 centimeters before the end of the slide. So far, no one who has disappeared while using SCP-1562 this way has been recovered. We are to immediately start testing, devising strategies of recovering lost individuals and formulating a hypothesis of its origin. Yes, Gustav? What if we gave a D-Class a two-way radio earpiece to communicate with researchers observing the test? We could at least get an idea of what's happening on I'm the sure other side. I'm sure they did that already, Gustav. Does anyone have a non-blatantly obvious suggestion? Wow. Rude. Looks like we're ready. You may proceed. So I just go down this slide, and then... You relay what you see to us. Is that understood? Uh, yes, ma'am. Here goes nothing. Oh. Oh, that makes recovery. Can you hear me? 
Yes, Doctor. I can hear you. What? Where are you Where at? Now? I don't know. Some sort of small tunnel. It's really cramped. H how do I get out of here? Can you describe it to me? No, it's too dark. Can't see anything, and I'm stuck. Stuck how? I'm still head first on my stomach, and my body's at an angle. But I'm trapped. I'm completely surrounded by rock or dirt on all sides. Don't have enough room to raise my head or move my arms, and I can't move forward. I really want to get out of here now. We're going to try. Can you see anything? Anything at all? No, I told you- Nigga said we're going to try. What you mean? We're gonna try. Nigga, get, pull me out. I wanna go home. I can't see anything, but I'm getting kind of freaked out. Not normally claustrophobic, but this is pretty damn uncomfortable. Pull me out of here. Unfortunately, your safety line was severed when you disappeared, so we can't pull you out. We'll try to figure out another way to retrieve you. For now, just stay calm and keep- Now what happens if you put two to go down? What happens then? Keep talking to me. No, 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 no. You need to get me out now. Please stay calm. We'll have you out of there as soon as possible. Okay, I was able to warm my way forward a little bit, but my head hit something. What did you hit? It's a shoe, I think. Oh no. It's small. Jesus. What's wrong? Please, just get me out of here, doctor. Get me out of here now! Calm down. We'll get you out of there as soon as we can. No, you need to get me out of here right now. The shoe. It's so... This is going nowhere. Where has he been transported? Yo, Dr. How do we Buck, what's up? Yo, you're so heartless. Man, somebody come get her. Retrieve people from the other side. Maybe we jumped the gun with the D-Class. I say we go back to basics. See if we can find a way to get an animal through. We've exhausted all those options. Next time, pay closer attention during our mission briefing. Sorry, Dr. Buck. It has to be a D-Class. They just need the right equipment. Send another one in and tether them with the strongest stuff we've got. And they need outfitting with video and audio recording equipment. Maybe even a GPS tracker and a headlamp too. That should cover all of our bases. Then we can drag both of them out at the same time. I concur. Are you still there? Please, please, I don't want to be in here anymore. We're going to send someone in to pull you out. It started talking. What started talking? The little boy did. But it didn't make any sense. I said little boy. Tell me what he said. He, he just kept asking where he was, and I told him I didn't know. But I don't think he was really talking to me, because he didn't respond to my voice. And he told me to stop crying when I was actually sort of calm. What else? Was he moving at all during this? I don't think so. He started screaming, and I told him to shut up, but he just kept screaming and crying and asking for his mommy. Then he finally stopped, and shortly after that, you contacted me again. Please, get me the hell out of here. Okay, we're sending someone in. Don't panic if you hear or feel something behind you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Don't panic if you hear or feel something behind you. What you mean by that, Rue? What you mean? We need to get him out ASAP. He won't survive much longer, and any information he's collected will go with him. Shut up! Agreed. Let's get that D-Class ready. Shortly after this, D-8600 was sent down SCP-1. You said use your strongest stuff and you using another rope. Can't use like ti silk titanium rope or something? Maybe it's the SCP verse. You got some shit. 562. D-8600 was selected for his small stature and thin body shape in hopes he would be able to move more easily than D-2445. The rope used to tether D-8600 oh, exactly was said. severed at the same moment D-8600 vanished from SCP-1562 and the GPS tracker signal could not be traced. The following audio was recorded after contact was established with D-8600. D-8600, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Doctor. What's your situation? We're not getting anything on the video feed. I'm in some sort of cave or tunnel. It's really small and dark. My headlamp stopped working as soon as I got in here. Are you able to move at all? I'm not sure I can get my arms up in front of me, but I can sort of wiggle my way forward. Wait. What is this? Hey! Are you alright? D-8600. I just bumped into someone's foot. They're not moving at all. Hey! Are you okay down there? That could be D-445. Try his radio. I can hear his radio. I think. I can hear his voice. Hmm. We're not picking up Davis's voice on your radio through our end. Yes, Doctor. I can hear you. Gustav, so, turn that off. Hello? I can hear him through D-8600s. Hey, man. I'm glad. I don't know. Some sort of small tunnel. 
It's really cramped. How do I get out of here? D-8600 is behind you and is there to help get you out. No, it's too dark. Can't see anything, and I'm stuck. Hey, man. It's okay. We know you're stuck. We're both going to get out of here. I'm still head first on my stomach, and my body's at an angle. But I'm trapped. I'm completely surrounded by rock or dirt on all sides. Don't have enough room to raise my head or move my is arms. Is he repeating I what he said forward. before? I really want to get out of here now. Okay, man. It's okay. I'm going to try to get my arms up, and I'll grab a hold of your ankles. They should be able to pull us out of here, then. No, I told you I can't see anything, but I'm getting kind of freaked out. Not normally claustrophobic, but this is pretty damn uncomfortable. Pull me out of here. I'm working on it. Have some- D-8600, stop talking. Something isn't right here. D-2445 is just repeating everything he said to me when we initially made contact with him. No, 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 no. You need to get me out now. It's okay, doctor. I think he's just freaking out. I've almost got my arms in front of me. Okay, I was able to warm my way forward a little bit. But my head hit something. No, he's literally repeating his side of the conversation, word for word. Did he actually move at all, like he just said he did? I don't think so, but I got his ankles. See if you can pull us out now. It's a shoe, I think. It's small. Jesus. Doctor, what is he talking about? Can you just pull us out of here? Please, just get me out of here, doctor. Get me out of here now! We can't pull you out. I'm sorry. No, you need to get me out of here right now. The shoe, it's so tiny. What the hell are you talking about? Why can't you pull us out? What does he mean the shoe is so tiny? Damn! 600. Unfortunately, the rope we tied to you was severed as soon as you vanished. We didn't realize that would happen. It started talking. Shit. Okay then, I'll try inching my way backwards. I won't be able to bring him with me though. The little boy did, but it didn't make any sense. Good luck, D-8600. We'll stay in contact with you he for the time being. just kept asking where he was, and I told him I didn't know. But I don't think he was really talking to me, because he didn't respond to my voice, and he told me to stop crying when I was actually sort of calm. This would be a lot easier if he so. would just shut up. He started screaming, and I told him to shut up, but he just kept screaming and crying and asking for his mommy. Then he finally stopped, and shortly after that, you contacted me again. Just Please shut get the, me hell the hell up out already! Of here. Creepy asshole! Are you making progress, D-8600? A little. It's not easy, but I'm getting there. The air is getting kind of stale. I hope there's enough for me to make it back. Hey, did he finally shut up? I'm not hearing him on my end anymore. Well, thank God for that. I was starting to think that... What is it? You were starting to think that... D-8600. D-8600? Are you still there? What happened? Try him again. D-8600, respond. D-8600. I think the connection has been cut. He could have backed up into another portal of some sort. A valid hypothesis. We'll need another D-class to test it, though. No. We need to suspend testing and get this thing to the Foundation. There's too many variables here. I think he's right, Dr. Buck. It's better to be on the safe side. <sighs> Fine. We're moving out, people. I want this site packed up and ready for transfer in 15. SCP-1562 is currently quarantined in Testing Lab 46V in Site 24. The door to the lab is to remain locked at all times. As testing is currently suspended indefinitely, all access is denied unless special clearance is granted by Dr. Carver. This one just gives me the heebie-jeebies. You do realize it's your childish attitude that's standing in our way, right? Our way of what, Dr. Buck? Of discovery! We still have no clue how this thing operates, and we're locking it away for God knows how long. We lost two personnel. We lost two D-Class, Gustav. When has that ever up, stopped bro. us? You continue to disappoint me, Gustav. Oh, you know, but yeah, I'm trying to save people. We're trying to figure this out. Y'all the ones who want to contain. I played a game I'm undefeated. Oh my goodness. That beat was kind of cool. It's kind of kind of cool. But this was crazy. I just I don't understand Dr. Buck sometimes, but I can't wait to 
to to to to to finish this series and figure out what happens like towards the end of the the reset or whatever the hell they did. But um, this was fire. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next one, bro. Peace.